What up, Fred World? You already know what's up, man. It's your boy Eric. Back with more exclusive content for the Frag World. Yeah, I just want to start this video off by saying I'm really myself, y'all. I'm enjoying the exclusive content, you know, the creativity to, that I've been trying to bring towards the Frag World. Shout out to all the other fragrance reviewers, you guys. Uh, man, just amazing to be a part of something that's so cool, you know. It shouldn't really be a lot of hatred with just people want to smell good, y'all. And I'm very honored for all of those, you know, cool individuals that are a part of the community that I'm a part of. So, you guys, as you can see with this video, man, I was sitting down trying to think of something even more creative than my last few videos. I noticed that the most creative ones do get the most views. And then the little small ones that I try to put out, like I've shot like 10 videos of Umwatch, of all the samples and which ones I like and things, they don't really get as many views. Hopefully they'll pick up. But this is one of those other videos that I just thought about some critical content. And as you can see from the title, this will be 10 colognes that smell exactly like they sound. And what I mean by that, guys, if, you, if you're walking by and the cologne is called, um, you know, Fresh Night on the Summer Breeze, and if it actually smells exactly like that, it will probably be in this list, you guys. So, with that being said, I do have one honorable mention, and I will explain why this is an honorable mention. I really don't wear this fragrance that much. Um, it's a pretty decent fragrance, um, very good fragrance. I just don't wear it that much. Kind of gives me like a good older outdated smell but it's just a great fragrance when I do put it on and it is Coffee Man Seduction and this fragrance was actually sent to me from Brazil and that's where this fragrance come from you guys it's actually a great fragrance but nevertheless it does smell like a coffee seductive type of fragrance it smells like coffee it smells like a fresh fresher 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 type of coffee cappuccino and it, it's a, it is a seductive smell so that's why I still have it and man um, I actually need to wear this fragrance more um, you guys do some research on this fragrance and man I don't know if I gotta send out some decants or some of this fragrance just to get other people's opinion we need to kinda see you know how people feel about this fragrance but it is pretty cool fragrance um, I just have so many fragrances to smell better and that's why this did make my honorable mention guys moving on let's get to this list y'all I've been reveling off for two and a half minutes so I gotta really shoot through this list still put my heart in it and you know if it's on this list you guys it's going to you know be from the heart anyway coming in at number one you guys this is mahogany wood why don't I have to say anything about it because it smells exactly how it sounds it has a woody smell that smells like nature and they took mahogany which is known for wood and you know they put woods in this fragrance and even the box is like an outdoor woody you know nature type of uh, box so it's just it goes so well with the name and how it smells it's just an amazing fragrance you guys mahogany woods coming in at number one you guys coming in at number two we need no introduction Dior Sauvage why did Dior Sauvage make this list? Because it sounds like what it is. A lot of us may look at it and say it's called Sauvage, but y'all know it's for a savage. This cologne is for that bad boy savage, and that's exactly what this fragrance is reminiscent of when you wear it. It's just a bad boy in your face, you know, type of fragrance. And that's why Dior Sauvage made number two, because you can call it Dior Savage. It's a savage scent, you guys. For a bad boy only. Coming in at number three, you guys. No introduction. You know, Terry Mugler Crypto Mint. I mean, you don't even have to know what crypto means, but just because it has mint in it and they did so much of a great job with mint, it sounds exactly how it smells. It smells like it would be a crypto mint. You know, it's some type of mint, but what kind of mint? Crypto mint. Yeah, that does smell like a crypto mint or whatever crypto mint is that's exactly what you would, you would think of when you put it on it smells like a spirit mint but you would say crypto mint and so it it goes so well with them knowing that it was a minty fragrance so they added mint at the end and yes it is a great fragrance you guys i like this fragrance let me know how you feel about crypto mint all right that was coming in at number three you guys coming in at number four i thought about having both of these as a two and one but i'm saying no 
They smell totally different, though they share a certain similarity. So I had to split these two fragrances up. And it is also from Terry Mugler, but it's not Crypto Mint. What is it? Ultra Zest, you guys. One of the most coolest names that matches the smell, you guys. Ultra Zest. When you think about zest, you think about just zesty, citrusy, orangey type of, you know, notes. And they did so much of a great job with just making this the most brightest, zestiest, amazing scent, you guys. And that's why it was right behind Crypto Mint. And it was coming in at number four, you guys. Ultra Zest. Coming in at number five, you guys. Needs no introduction. Spice Bomb. This smells exactly like what it is. I'll even get a little closer so you can see it if you don't know the name. Spice Bomb, you guys. This smells exactly like what it is. It smells like a spicy, loud bomb. It's just like a bomb of just so many other great notes. It's just cinnamon and cucumber and you just get so many amazing fragrances in this is one and it's just like a bomb when you put it on like literally when you spray it it's like a bomb of just so many spices you know what I'm saying so they did a very amazing job for how they you know made the name to go so identical with the fragrance and it even has you know the little bomb you know we all know that this is an old fragrance so yeah spice bomb you guys coming in at number five all right you guys we're down to number six this also needs no, none of these fragrances need an introduction because I will explain after the introduction. Kills, okay, original must. I might have to get a little closer, but Kills, original must, you guys. This is an amazing fragrance, oil, whatever you want to call it. It's very expensive, you guys. I paid about 60 bucks for that. I've had it for a few years. When I say that is the OG of original musk. I don't care what kind of musk oil that you, you have, Kiehl's original musk would go toe to toe with some of the best, you know, of those must, musty, musky type of, you know, oils, colognes, fragrances. And that is why it made my list of the colognes that smell exactly how they sound because it smells like just some original musk, you guys. And it's done so great and it smells so rich, you guys. All right. And that was coming in at number six you guys number seven we all know this fragrance our kids probably know this fragrance from being children cool water you guys if they didn't do so much of a great job with just naming something that smells just like what you would think a cool water would smell like it's just cool water i mean i remember being a kid smelling this myself and just knowing that does smell like a cool water and so i i, I know that I mean, that was just an amazing job to just make a name that goes so identical with the fragrance, you guys. So they were very helpful with, you know, uh, the fragrances, you know what I'm saying? Because you would know exactly what you're getting with all of these 10 fragrances, you guys. So there was Cool Waters, and it was coming in at number 7. All right. Coming in at number 8, you all. This is also from the house of Terry Mugler, and this is a small decant. Um... Why is it a decant? Because I have something that just always made me never get a bigger bottle. But nevertheless, you guys, it is Pure Malt, you guys, by Terry Mugler. And Pure Malt, it smells exactly like what you would think that it, it is. You know, when you talk about malt, you talk about, you know, liquor, malt liquor. You talk about... You know, it, it just gives you that mature, grown, over 21 type of, it's a, it's an over 21 type of name, just the word malt. And that's why this did make my list because it does smell like some type of liquor, you guys. And it is an amazing fragrance. And that's why I did is coming in at number eight. Terry Mugler Pure Malt. Guys, we're down to the last two. Very great fragrance, you all. I have to get my nose on the newer, um, fragrance that they have put out for my number nine and it is light blue very small y'all can see I'm, I've run out of it very very small Dos and Gabbana light blue I have to go get the newer version they said it's a little bit more better I will go get that now that I'm out if y'all can see it's gone and uh but this fragrance does smell exactly like what the name is light blue I don't even know what blue smells like, but when I smell this, 
I say, yeah, that does smell light. And like, if it were a color, it would be a light blue color. Amazing, you guys. All right, let's get to this number 10 list, you guys. And I'm sorry, let's get to this number 10 fragrance of this 10th list, you guys. Um, it needs no introduction, you guys. 1821 Sweet Tobacco. This fragrance smells exactly like the name. It could have, they could have put like honey on it too. Could have been like honey slash sweet tobacco. But even though they didn't put honey as the name and it does smell like a honey fragrance or just it does smell like honey, period. It does smell like sweet tobacco. And that's what makes this fragrance so unique, you know, to the name that it is. It does not confuse you as you're attempting to even think about what you think this fragrance smells like, you guys. It smells like sweet tobacco. You know, hands down. And um, with a lot of honey. But you do smell that sweet tobacco. And I actually have a comparison video that, um, you know, I'm actually comparing this fragrance to a Perfume de Marley's tobacco fragrance, you guys. I might put that fragrance out. I might not. I might have to redo it before I put it out because it was kind of like ratchet how I did it. But you all, this is my top 10 list along with my honorable mention. You guys, please tell me some of your fragrances that smell exactly how they sound. Uh, there are so many fragrances out here that I can't wait to get my nose on. Um, I actually want to start getting my nose on fragrances from the House of Mancera. Have you want to pronounce it? I've just been hearing so many good things about them. So you guys, let me know what are some great fragrances that actually smell exactly like the name is. And why is this important? Well, to me, you guys, it's important because these are not misleading fragrances you don't want to put something on and you know it misleads you i mean i know some fragrances we don't even know what the name means and it just smells amazing but for the fragrances that do go cohesive with the name and how they smell that's just one cool thing you guys so i hope that this video did bring some type of life to your daily living you guys man stay cool stay happy and you will be wealthy within it, guys. Till next time, one love. Peace.